welcome to the first points race of the Quaker State Cup Series, the Daytona 500. I'm Seth Cole, and I'll be bringing you all the action here today on the NNSCRA Sports Channel as we are getting set for a 32-car field to take to this amazing restrictor plate track. As you can see on the pole in the number 12 Alltown Dodge, it's going to be Anthony Lauder. To his outside, it's going to be T.J. Morrishead in the AOL Chevy. Show you the rest of the field right now as we will get these cars rolling very shortly. So Anthony Lauder, T.J. Morrishead, Christian James will start in third and fourth will be Matt Johnson, fifth Brian LaFlair Jr. and Blake Deaver will start in 6th. Then you got Jacob Ward, Martin Zakala in the 2, Jake Snyder, and Luke Marcheski, your top 10. In 11th, it's going to be Jake Berg. Arnold Columbia will start in 12th. 13th will be Brian Fleeter. 14th will be John Bain in the 48. 15th will be Ryan, or I'm sorry, Ronnie Medford. And uh, Christian Dunbar will start in 16th. 17th will be Jake Cole. 18th will go to Levi McKenzie, 19th will go to John Worry, and 10th is going to be Patrick Scroggins. 11th will be uh, Philip Stiller, then you got Sean Galligan, Noel Stiller, Michael Harvey in the 38, Isaiah Vegas, Andrew Gonzalez, Alex Filter, the 10 car of Jonathan Pilot, Jacob Sharpie, Robert Bale, James Silverfox, and Vincent Marsh, the rest of the field. We'll get rolling off in just a minute. We'll step aside and then we'll come back when we get ready for the green flag of the Daytona 500. We return to the Quaker State Cup Series, the Daytona 500 getting ready to be run. And we'll get the most famous words in motorsports right now. Drivers, start your engines. There's the command to fire them up as there's going to be 32 race cars, 20 laps of racing here at Daytona. Track conditions are very good. As a matter of fact, it's 70 degrees there at Daytona. I only wish it was 70 degrees here. We're still getting slow. Uh, so the pace car is getting ready to lead them around. Anthony Lauder is your pole sitter. I keep an eye on a guy back there in sixth, Blake Deaver. He won the Bud Shootout race in that number nine car. He may be at the front and battling for the win when all is said and done. But with 32 race cars, there's a lot of room for, you know, for good moves and good passes. There's also a lot of room for mistakes. And that's what we're going to be watching and seeing if these guys can ride their manners for 20 laps. I have the very strange feeling they won't be able to. Anthony Lauder and TJ Morrison get us underway. Green flag, the Quaker State Cup Series is green for the 2011 season. They're already shuffling three wide back there. Jacob Ward goes underneath both Martin Zakala and Blake Deaver, and they're three wide further back. Anthony Lauder moves into the top spot. And it's second right now is Christian James. Oh, they got together. I think they're okay, though. Oh, and there's the 22 of Brian Fleeter and the 43 of Ronnie Medford. They're on the apron. Are we okay yet? Yeah, just going through the grass, a lot of race cars. Four wide back there. Oh. I think one car got out of shape. No, we're still racing. Oh, no, we're not. Sean Gallagher is involved. Philip Stiller and John Worry. Alex Filter also got a piece of it, as well as Isaiah Vegas. Michael Harvey's got damage. Jacob Sharpie, I think, was also involved. Robert Band may have made it through. There is damage to Andrew Gonzalez and also damage to the 10 car of Jonathan Pilot. Not sure exactly what happened there. And there's another car around. That's Jake Cole. He's been spun. His cars are all jammed up. Oh, Robert Band rear ends the back end of Andrew Gonzalez. As everybody is trying to slow up and get up there uh, for the pace laps behind the pace car. 
Excuse me. Jake Cole going to be able to move up there, but I'm not sure what happened to him. I think he got turned. Christian Jay is now moving up to his spot. He and the Lighty car may have made contact. We're under the caution flag. Your current leader is Anthony Lauder. Let's take a look and see what happened. Well, I'll tell you what. This may have just been a case of a car coming up the, up back into the field and cars having to woe up. You see that yellow car behind the other yellow car, that bright yellow car? That is Ronnie Medford. He was down on the apron, came back up. Brian Fleeter in the 22 is in the grass. But I think it starts back here with John Worry and... Philip Stiller, yeah, it does. And Patrick Scroggins got a piece of that. So did Levi McKenzie. Sean Galligan there, the 24. Philip Stiller in the zero, also involved. Let's get another camera angle. Take a look from uh, at uh, how Jacob Sharpie and Michael Harvey got involved. Okay, so here we are back at the same spot that we were. We showed you the replay last time. And I think there was like a follow-up accident. Yeah, Isaiah Vegas clips James So- or, I'm sorry, uh, Alex Filter. And Michael Harvey hits the wall. I think the 18 car got through without any damage. That was a great job by Jacob Sharpie. But that's how uh, Andrew Gonzalez also got some damage. And then here's what happened to Jake Cole. The 12 car and the 77, Anthony Lauder and... Uh, Matt Johnson got together right here. They almost spit out, and then it's a whole log jam. Everybody's backed up, and Jake Cole gets turned around. Oh, yeah, by Ronnie Medford. I don't think there was any damage, really, to that race car, though. But everybody was just trying to woe up. So Anthony Lauder is our current leader over Christian Jades, Jake Snyder, Jake Berg, and Jacob Ward. That's a lot of Jakes. And then you got Matt Johnson back there at 6th. 7th is T.J. Morrison. Then it's uh, Brian LaFlair Jr. And I believe Blake Deaver is in life. Well, we're going to step aside and come back. We'll update you when we come back on the victims caught up in this first wreck. We are currently on lap number 4 of 20. We will return to the Daytona 500 in just a minute. We are back to the Daytona 500, the first race of the Quaker State Cup Series. We are... Currently getting ready to go back for the restart. We were under the caution flag for an incident that involves several cars. All of them have returned to the racetrack with the exception of Sean Galligan and Michael Harvey. They have brought their race cars back to the garage area and are out of this race. Anthony Nutter, Christian Jace, and Jake Snyder get us back underway on lap number six. You have to wonder if after that wreck everybody's going to decide, all right, now let's ride around and mind our manners until it gets down to crunch time. Doesn't look like that's going to happen as there's a good battle back there for the third position. Jake Snyder has it. Jake Berg and Jacob Ward want it. As Jacob Ward's going to give a shove to the 20 car. TJ Morrishead started on the outside of the front row. He's coming. Trying to get back to the front. That AOL car. Here comes Christian Janes. Trying to go for the lead. It looks like he's going to be able to do it. Oh! Anthony Lauder getting a tap there from Jake Bergen. He almost made contact with Jacob Ward. Now look at TJ Morrison. He says, I'll help you, Jacob Ward, get to the lead. But maybe not. Will they go three wide down at the line? Christian Jays leads, but they are three wide. Three wide, three rows back. Wow. Oh, they wrecked. Oh, lots of cars are involved. Christian Jades and Anthony Lauder got into the fence with each other. Oh, the 77 of Matt Johnson is barrel rolling. Luke Marcheski was in it. Jake Snyder, Patrick Scroggins, John Worry. Oh, Jake Cole. And there's Philip Stiller. Isaiah Vegas. Alex Filter is on pit road. Oh my goodness, what a horrific wreck involving several of the drivers that were at the front of the field. Down at the stripe, TJ Morrishead's going to get the lead here under the caution flag. Jacob Ward will be second, Brian LaFlair Jr. third, Christian, or actually, I'm sorry, Blake Deaver is fourth, and 
Uh, Christian Dunbar is fifth. Oh my goodness. Let's look at what happened back there. A lot of race cars involved. Well, they were three wide, three rows back, and I thought that we were going to have some great racing. And this is the way it ends. I think maybe the contact happened. Jake Cole into the Levi McKenzie, or it was, yep, into Luke Marcheski. And then watch the 77 car. Oh! Isaiah Vegas right in the back of him, and he starts flipping. Oh, barrel rolling. Lands on its wheels, fortunately, but what a hit. Okay, let's take a look at from the spectator view. A lot of cars just piling in, nowhere to go. So, your current leader is TJ Warshead over Jacob Ward and Brian LaFlair Jr. We'll step aside and come back for the restart. Here we are, lap number nine, getting ready to reach halfway in the Daytona 500, the first race of the Quaker State Cup Series. We are back to the Daytona 500, the first race of the Quaker State Cup Series. Uh, just a few announcements before we go back to green. First of all, uh, drivers that were involved in that wreck that have taken their cars back to the garage area include Patrick Scroggins, Alex Filter, Isaiah Vegas, Jake Cole, uh, Philip Stiller is also back there. So, unfortunate for them, they will not be finishing this race. Your current leader is TJ Morris, and Green Flag goes back in the air for this restart on lap number 12. Eight laps to go. But look at trying to see if teammates are hooking up the... Teammates that I'm seeing hooking up right now are the 43 and the 45. They are currently, I believe, 7th and 8th. That's Ronnie Medford and Noel Stiller. TJ Warshead getting a push from Brian LaFleur Jr. A lot of players still in this pack that could win this race. Here comes Christian Dunbar down on the inside, the 15 car. Looks like he's going to challenge Brian LaFleur Jr. for second. And John Bain. We haven't talked much about the 48 car. He's moving into the picture. He's currently in fifth. Looks like everybody's going to be minding their manners. Oh, Brian LaFleur Jr. Jacob Warner in the wall. Oh, Ronnie Medford is in it. Oh, my goodness. A huge wreck. James Silverfox. Blake Deaver is also involved. Brian Fleener, oh man, Christian James, and Vincent Marsh may have made it through there, I'm not sure. Lots of race cars involved that were up at the front. There's Ronnie Medford, Christian James, Brian LaFleur Jr., I saw him and the 97 of Jacob Ward get together. Blake Deaver, Brian Fleener, James Silverfox were under the caution Oh my goodness, I thought maybe we'd be able to make it to the finish. Blake Deaver's car is all crunched up. Brian LaFlair Jr., he's got a lot of damage to his right side. His car slapped that outside retaining wall. Heavy damage to the back and front of Ronnie Medford. There you see Brian Fleeter down on the apron. His car badly damaged in the front. Several cars involved in this. Good grief. Let's go back and see what happened. I saw this wreck happen at the start. I know who started it. It was the 97 and the 32 getting together here on the entrance to the Tri-Oval. You see the 32 just slapped the outside wall. And around, everybody goes, oh, wow, good job by Jake Snyder, good job by Andrew Gonzalez getting through that. Christian James, he was able to get through, no damage. 